Just a quick demonstration. Uh, this is a Celestron CPC 1100. It is a Schmidt Cassegrain 11 inch. Uh, <clears throat> we're in my garage and all I'm doing here is just demonstrating just sort of in a very rudimentary fashion the power of terrestrial viewing. Now keep in mind there's some vibration here and I am filming through a cell phone through the IP so this is just very hastily thrown together. I'm doing this because I'm often asked what the power of this telescope is and that question is not easily answered. Um, it depends on uh, the aperture and the eyepiece and there's a calculation that you can do to determine the power that you're viewing at any given time. So uh, what I wanted to do here was just just do a quick demo of, of how <clears throat> what you can see through the eyepiece um, just terrestrially. So this is a 20 millimeter plossel and I'm in my garage. The garage door is open obviously and I'm just viewing a electrical tower which is a good oh goodness probably about a half mile away and I'll show you that in just a moment but uh, the vibration that you're seeing in the video is actually a nearby highway and every time trucks and things roll by it vibrates to the ground this is one of the disadvantages that I have viewing from where I live um, and it's not easy to video through a uh, through an eyepiece to begin with let me see if I can just zoom a little bit using the cell phones you can go on a little bit more it's very difficult so Okay, so anyway, birds are out there having a great time. Now, where we're looking is way out past that house. Let's see if we can actually get this in focus. The top of that tower. Let me see if I can zoom. Very top of that tower in the distance. I'm at maximum zoom with this, uh, with this uh, cell phone here. And as you saw, I mean, um, now the video won't pick it up, but you can actually discern color of the bird's plumage and texture on the feathers. But there it is, way out there.